Um, Tom Sachs' uh, Nike collection is dropping again, supposedly. I'm not sure why that is. Oh, what's, what's happening here? The internet is still not working for some reason. Let's quickly see if we can connect it here before we continue. Oh. Come on, hurry up, mate. You know, I'm just connect to my phone for now because this is getting on my nerves. Is it connecting yet? No? Do nothing? Come on, son. Okay, bear with me two seconds whilst this just loads up because, you know, BT internet isn't the most um, compatible with my computer, it seems like, at the moment. It's weird because we did change it from um, Talk Talk. We had talked to it previously and it was probably one of the worst services we ever had. Um, dealing with the customer service line is just incredibly frustrating. Trying to get it to work is just non-existent. It just runs into problems all the time. Okay, we're finally back online. Finally, finally. Anyway, so Tom Sachs is going re-releasing his collection of Mars Yard. The, the, I think the Mars Yard 2.0, whatever the one, that massive big moon boot one that reminds me of something little wayne would wear i'm a big fan of the actual shoe i think it works really well i remember seeing a picture of some girl on the street style picture maybe it might have been uh paris or something wearing a pair and they looked amazing again i think it's a bit of a cheat code uh for girls when they wear those kind of shoes because primarily or for them primarily for the most part if you're a girl in your size i don't know five and under and you wear any shoe even a foam posit that's probably one of the most ugliest shoes that ever exists right it will, it will usually work pretty well on you, right? So I think this Tom Sachs is a good example of it. But again, I'm, I'm happy they're re-releasing it. I, I'm not too sure if it's because the first batch didn't sell too well. But they do go for quite a bit of money on StockX still. Not crazy amounts. Not the same. Not as much as the Mars Yards that I have, which are somewhere around there. But yeah, not, not as much as the Mars Yards I have, but they do go for quite a bit of money. Um, so maybe, I don't know. I wonder why. This happened quite often, actually. There's been a few hyped shoes that have been dropping again. I'm not sure if it's because Nike make too many or it's because they just want to drum up the hype again. But it's not this, It's not how it used to be. I remember back in the day when you, they, Nike used to drop a tier zero, or like an exclusive shoe. They drop this and then they'll make a, like a kind of a GR version of it. A version that just doesn't, you know, a version just for the, just for people to use. Or a version that they're going to sell in like kind of a core store, like a Foot Patrol or something, right? A Foot Patrol is not a good example. Maybe like a size. A, shoot, a place that gets like, you know, the, the, the tier below tier zero. But yeah, I'm a big fan of this. Um, I, I think it's up here on the screen now. Hopefully you can see this. Uh, so it says here, yeah, Tom Sachs and Nike Craft Transitions collections is set to release for a, set for a global wider release, right? So this transition collection, I'm assuming, is the big boots. You've got the backpack. You've got another pouch. And you've got something else like a hat thing sort of thing, right? With the 10 bullet symbol. Let's quickly get this out of the way here. Allow, okay. So, um, said here from this is from Hype Beast. Uh, originally uh, released um, at the Tom Sachs Tea Ceremony Exhibition in Tokyo, the Nike Craft Transit. Okay, so it was only released in Tokyo. Okay, I remember that. Do you remember that T Tokyo's uh, Tea Ceremony um, Exhibition with all the amazing pieces of artwork that Tom Sachs Studio did? It was just really incredible to look at. I think I might have featured it previously on another podcast. Um, the Nike, uh, the Sachs uh, Nike Craft Transitions Collection is now set for a wider global release. Special range is centered around the transparency of materials and of construction, and according to Sachs, features the same value and integrity of sculptures that I make in the studio. The Nike Craft Transitions Collection was introduced globally by the Mars Yard Overshoe, leading the uh, apparel side of the collaboration is the research-intensive Exploding Poncho. The unique, uh, the unique, the unique is constructed, Jesus Christ, writing, of the same Dynamina fabric used on the shoe, the free layer waterproof breathable fabric, while Trinity case uh, features a sorry, okay, the writing is horrible. So take a look at the Tom Sachs Nike Craft Transition Collection available above. It should be available February 15th. So it's obviously out now and it should have probably been all snapped up already. Um, let's take a quick look at the video here. Exploring the poncho. This is it from NASA? Okay, sick. Little video here from Tom Sack Studio, the exploding poncho. Why do you want a poncho to explode, by the way? I'm not sure about. I love how the videos are like, if you're familiar with Tom Sack Studio, you know that, um, I think, was it, was it Casey or was it his brother? I think one of them used to intern or work for Tom Sack back in the day. And I think this is where they got their style from, the sort of jump cut things, like with the zooming in and stuff. So when you watch loads of Tom Sack videos, it feels like a Casey Neistat video, basically. It feels like back in the day, old school New York Casey Neistat, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, I don't know why you want an expansion punch. Okay, so it, it doesn't go over your head straight away like that. That's impossible. That's amazing. So for the people listening in the audio podcast, it's a lady that's on that's on a rooftop somewhere in the middle of New York. Um, and then she puts on a little uh, waist bag, clips it onto her waist, and essentially pulls these tabs or these strings from the front of it, and a poncho leaps out of the bag and um, obviously assembles itself on top of her. But it's like there's no way this poncho kind of falls on top of her with a hood up on her head. I'm sure that was a jump cut, but it looks pretty cool. And she's clipping it now to see the sides of the poncho. I think ponchos are a big thing because I think Supreme put, put one out recently too, right? In their Supreme 20, uh, in the spring summer 2020 preview, there's a poncho featured as well. I think they're popular in, in the New York because it's wet, right? Because they have rainy seasons and stuff. And I remember when we went in the summer, this was ages ago, so our first sort of lads holiday. I do remember it raining a lot. Um, like flash, flash rain, flash storms, whatever they're called, right? And when it was, it, it was like, it was not like, you know, when you go to like a, you know, you go to like a foreign country and you have different kinds of weather and it's like nothing you've experienced at home. It was essentially like someone was just pouring a glass of water over top of us. It was just constant. So I'd imagine a poncho was quite handy in that kind of place. Like imagine most people have like one rolled up in their bag or they'll buy some of somebody outside of a station somewhere. That, that was always a dream I had actually, an entrepreneurship dream where one day I'd be off from work and it'll be raining somewhere and I'd have a whole box full of umbrellas for a quid, I'd just go and sell outside the station for one pound and shit. That'd be awesome, innit? Wow, so she takes it off, clips it back onto the bag again, and it folds back into the bag. So it pops out, but it doesn't fold, it doesn't pop back in. See, that's that's the thing. But that side bag looks incredible, man. I love it, man. So beautiful. I love his aesthetic, you know? The contrasting stitching and stuff. The fact that all the all the joinery and all the bits are exposed. It's just really, really cool. So yeah, big up um, Tom Sachs Studios and Nike. Again, my, one of my most favorite collaborations, I think, of recent years. A very interesting collaboration overall. Like nothing you've ever seen out there. You've got the original poncho here from Nike uh, with the NASA logo made in Vietnam. Plastered on the back, nice and proud. Um, Everything folds up into itself. The waste bag with the poncho inside it. I'm assuming the waste bag, you can put the poncho in and you can also leave it out. I assume so. There's loads of other bags within bags as well. I like, like, look at this unnecessary, like, stuff like this with a clip on it, with a little paper clip. Like, I don't know. I, I love all the details that surround the stuff that Tom Sachs does. It's all really very, 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 very well considered. Um, Nice little sketch on there or writing property of Thomas Sachs. Da, 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 da. Again, it reminds me of Casey where, that he always kind of writes on his um, gadgets and stuff. Writes his name, phone number, and address in case someone finds it and they can return it. Uh, you're calling on the humanity of people sometimes, isn't it? I guess all those digital products try and return it, but you know, it's always nice if someone surprises you. A model here wearing the poncho with the shoes on. And it looked really good on, to be fair. The overshoe it looks fucking beautiful. I know some people on social, I remember seeing people cutting off the uppers and stuff and making them so that you can see the. It's just bullshit. Like, if you're going to buy this shoe, buy it for what it is, isn't it? I never really got the understanding. Obviously, the, the closest thing that I did to that was maybe a skate high. I remember back in the day when you used to get skate highs? If, if you skate, you'd know that sometimes when you got a skate high, some people would cut the, the top collar off and make it into like a kind of a half cab. And then, of course, when half, no, make it into like a, a sort of like a mid, a mid skate high, a mid skate high, or whatever that one's called. There is, it does exist, right? There's a skate high and there's a skate high that's kind of a mid. So you cut it so it looks that way. So a little bit higher than a, a half cab. Then obviously, Van started making that shoe because people were cutting their skate highs. And there's no need to do it anymore, right? Um, especially with Nike ID and stuff around, there's no need to kind of get a shoe and kind of cut it up to pieces so it fits into your um, requirements. Just get a Nike ID and make your own colorway, innit? But yeah, the poncho looks great. Um, nice little, what's that? Okay, that over shirt, that 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 blue denim shirt is nice. Imagine if something Bill Cunningham would have worn. Um, I like the little hat as well. So cool. You can put a pencil in it, obviously, with the 10 bullets on the front motif. Yeah, all quality stuff from Tom Sack Studios, man. I'm a fan of all of it. Oh, I love all this stuff. Look at this. It's like a pentagram. And it's got research, style, humor, um, irrationality lust what's that say rigor and intuition will in the middle i love that i love that idea yeah you got these padded shorts that look mad so if you want to get a back off you can put this underneath a pair of jeans and unless you've underneath your fashion over jeans and you can look amazing 
But yeah, I'm a fan of them. Again, the original shoe is still the best, you know. That Mars Yard is probably one of the best shoes that ever ever released, maybe in the last few years, mate. It's so beautiful. But yeah, uh, big up Tom Sachs, Nike Craft Transition Collection. Should be out now at all your relevant uh, stores, I'm assuming, right? 